Hello and welcome to DM Prep. We're prepping Odyssey of the Dragon Lords episode four, which I've titled Demetria, uh, if only because we're starting with Demetria. My name is Ian and I'll be your DM for today and for tomorrow when our session actually is. Um, so let's, uh, let, let's recap a little bit. Uh, so last session they went to the Mossy Temple uh, and they, they essentially went through the entire goddamn temple. Um, so, so this, this area was really awkward with, uh, dynamic lighting. Hey Andy, how's it going? Uh, this area is really awkward with dynamic lighting, um, just because the players wanted to move their tokens around, but then it was revealing things. And then I started reading, like, area descriptions. Hey Shadows, how's it going? Uh, I see you're now hosting me with your one viewer, as always. Uh, <laughs> um, they, they, they kept revealing areas and then I would read, read aloud text, but then it wasn't super clear. Uh, I, I think it wasn't super clear who I was talking to when I was reading this read aloud text. Um, and then at one point, Jesse got really confused between East and West, um, which got, which was made even worse by the fact that there's no compass here, none whatsoever. Um, so that was really annoying, but I think moving forward, um, I am going to try to use, um, I'm going to try to use, oh, no, I don't need to go that far. Um, so they're in the ancient glade. Uh, right now. Yeah, he went west. Um, we made that joke on streams. I don't think he got it though, which, which was sad. Um, so we have, uh, we're using dynamic lighting right now, but I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to switch it to new dynamic lighting. So I'm gonna turn off old dynamic lighting, uh, and I'm going to use new dynamic lighting with explorer mode, um, and hopefully that kind of works. Um, looks like it's Shitting itself because it's trying to figure things out. I think Remier's in a wall right now. That's annoying. Oh, and then the other thing is I need to give them this dynamic lighting. So he's got vision. Um, yeah, slap compass and I hand out. So so the other thing is I don't know. Yeah. So so now that now that I'm using new dynamic lighting, what I can actually do is I can put in their proper um, vision. So centaurs do not have dark vision. So he doesn't have night vision. Um, he's not emitting light um, at all. So he's got sight, but he doesn't have any light. Uh, Medusas, uh, Medusas have dark vision. Um, so we're gonna turn on vision. We're gonna turn on night vision, 60 feet. Um, and then uh, save changes. Um, so the question is who's actually carrying a light source? And I guess I can handle that well, actually, I can I can just look at. Well, no, I can't I can't just look at this because I gave everyone sixty feet of vision, um, just so that they could actually reveal things with dynamic lighting. Um, but I guess I can just. Okay, all players see light forty five feet. Um, I'm pretty no. Yusana doesn't have light. Well, let's actually just open up. Let's open up all the character sheets and see who has access to light spells and whatnot. Um, so Alaris, Helios. Ysena, Orsino, Remir, and Scorpius. All right. Oh God, this. Let's zoom out just a tiny bit. It's like, there we go. Spells. Uh, does not have light. Okay. Uh, equipment. Do you have like a torch? You have torch. Torch is twenty and twenty. There are torches in the room. At least there are torches. There are torches on the map. Yes, there are torches on the map. Um, but I want to know for the future, so that when I copy these tokens uh, from page to page, who actually has lights? Um, so, uh, Helios. Does anyone actually have the light cantrip is mostly what I'm interested in. No. No. Orsino has light. Okay, so let's see, how big is light? Light is 20 and 20, all right. So we're just going to assume uh, that Orsino, so he's got vision, um, he emits bright light, he emits lit, dim light, 20 and 20. Um, as a minotaur, does he have dark vision? Yes, he has dark vision. Um, so we're going to turn on night vision, 60 feet, save Orsino. Um, Yasena is a warforged, so it's, she's the only one not in this book. I believe Warforged have dark vision. They do not. Okay. 
Been interested to see how the new dynamic lighting works in play. Yeah, so I actually, uh, so yesterday's DM prep, I, I went through um, switching Curse of Strahd over to the new dynamic lighting. Um, but I, I got to the point where I was ready to stop using the old dynamic lighting entirely. Uh, and I figured it, you know, the new dynamic, dynamic lighting at least warranted a, a, a an attempt um, before I just stop using it entirely and, and switch to Fog of War. So who am I editing? Uh, Yasena has vision, does not have night vision, does not emit light. Um, uh, Remier. Remier does not emit light. And he does have torches, but... I don't know. Um, so he has vision. All right, so let's let's see. Who did I miss? Remier's got vision. What the fuck? What the fuck? Scorpius has vision. Alaris does not have vision. Um, and as a nymph, does she have dark vision? I can just look at her sheet. I don't need to. I need to go through here. Dark vision, sixty feet. I think that's actually Oriad has dark vision. Yep. So she has night vision, sixty feet. Uh, and then um, I just need to do Sater, which is Helios. Does Sater have dark vision? I think it does. No. Helios does not have dark vision. Okay. So edit. Dynamic lighting, vision on, no dark vision, save changes. All right, so now all of them should be able to see. He can, what the, f why can he just see everything though? Um, like dynamic lighting exists. I'm confused. Enable line of sight. Is that like a thing? Is that a separate thing? Dynamic lighting, explorer mode. Vision. Advanced settings. Light modifier. Turn it on in the token as well? I thought I did. Like, I turned vision on. Is it because I have this still? Like, the, the walls just aren't stopping them right now, and that's very confusing to me. Oh, there we go. So Helios is seeing properly, Orsino for some reason is not. Oh, now he is. That was odd. I don't know why that happened, but we're good now. Yusena's good. Remir's good. Alaris. Let's just move her and then she should be good. Yep. So for some reason I have to move them after after doing it. Okay. All right. So they're good. Um, so then the question is, so all of these tokens, I believe, belong to, so all of them belong to my stream account. Um, so I'm going to log into Roll20 again with my other email address. State updates, yeah. And then I got to move the, la the player tag to the Ancient Glade. And of course I did that as I'm loading in, so it's going to be really fucky. <sighs> do I have a plan for how to deal with character death in relation to the prophecy, given that these six are the chosen ones? I do. Um, so... Uh, so real quick, Andy, uh, does the new dynamic lighting restrict movement? I believe so. I think, yeah, that's still something that's in page detail, page settings, just restrict movement. 
Um, I think this still works to be enabled even if lighting is not used. Um, so that, that just relies on the walls that I've drawn and not necessarily the, um, anything else. Um, and then, so I do have plans for if they die, given that they're the chosen ones of prophecy. So the, the most obvious one is that, uh, in the running the epic paths section, it actually gives me an explanation of what to do if one of them is ever killed. So if the demigod specifically is ever killed, Pythor will appear within an hour and surrender a portion of his divine spark to raise them back to life. This can happen only once, and Pythor one suffers one level of permanent exhaustion as a result. Um, the vanished one, uh, if they're ever killed, Versi will appear within one hour and kiss them, which restores them to life. So each of them has this has this specific way of coming back from, from the dead. Um, some of them cost something. Um, some of them just don't. Uh, the doomed one, um, if, they, if they're killed, they immediately come under the effects of the spell True Resurrection. Um, that can only happen twice. Um, so, like, every one, of, every one of them has a way to just come back to life. Um, at least once. Um, if the gifted one is ever killed, their body will disintegrate. Valus will then use True Resurrection to bring them back to life. Which is really interesting because they will come back to life in Mitros no matter where the party is. Um, and then Valis then uses her magic to return the gifted one to her companions. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, so number one, they only get one. They, they only get one. Um, except for the doomed one who only gets two, but that comes at the cost of the third time they die, they're dead forever. Um, and then uh, on top of that is um, while traveling with Kyra, Kyra has a... Uh, a, a number of raised dead scrolls. Uh, it's super unclear how many she has. I've decided that she just has six of them, one for each player, but, you know, if one player keeps... Does it seem too much like plot armor? Or like, it lowers the stakes, though. It would if it weren't for the fact that this adventure is hilariously deadly. They're going up against a Gigan at level three. This guy's CR4 and hits like a goddamn truck. I'm expecting at least one of them to die right uh, next session. Um... Uh, See, so yeah, he's CR4. He has triple attack in each of his attacks. Hey, it's too legit is now following. Thanks for following. Um, so he has three attacks, uh, one with grapple, two, or spear, two with spear or javelin. So he grapples a dude and restrains them, and then he just pounds on them with his spear and javelin. Um, and that guy's probably going to die because they're level two and have less than 20 hit points, and he hits for, like, 14 damage. Um, so, um, interestingly... Um, I have a doomed one uh, in the party, and in the doomed one, it says that um, the doomed one, Lutheria's joke. While Lutheria live, her servants focus their attacks upon the doomed one. This includes Goatlings, Jackaware, Lamia, Maynad, and all hostile undead. Uh, so if these, uh, if the players don't play their cards correctly, then these girls will finish their feast and turn into Maynads right at the start of the battle. So it's going to be four Maynads against the group, and they're going to focus on the doomed one, um, and then. And that's Helios. Um, and then um, if he dies, then he will be true resurrected, um, which restores you with all of your hit points, cure, closes all your wounds, neutralizes poisons, blah, 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 blah. Um, that is Steph, yes. Uh, so it's Steph playing Helios as the doomed one. Um, so like, if, if she dies, she's just immediately true resed. And, like, nothing happened. And then she could die again in the same battle. And then get true rezzed again. But if she dies a third time, she stays dead forever. Um, and that's actually a possibility with three friggin' main ads. Like, that might happen. Um, but interestingly, Demetria and the Gigan are under no such compulsion. Um, so the Gigan's free to go murder other people. So I don't have to focus fire the doomed one um, quite so hard. Fortunately. Um, so is it plot armor? Yes. Is it the good kind of plot armor? I think so. Like these are these are heroes of prophecy. Obviously, something's, you know, protecting them, right? Um, so uh, where was I? Kyra has plot amount of raised dead scrolls. That's exactly correct. Um, can't wait for Helios to meet Helios on one of the islands. Yes, I am act I am also very excited for that. Um, I don't know if you're aware of Santa Bomb, but um, one of our other players worships Helios. Uh, she's a cleric, and Helios is her divine patron. Um, so that's that's gonna be fun. Uh, killed your wife's 
character in TOA is mad at you for three days. Um, I killed Steph's character in Curse of Strahd, uh, and she was uh, she was mad at me for a while too. Um, that's just a that's a thing. So yeah, there you know, we 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 have the we have the joke occasionally where it's like Alaris pla- prays to Helios, uh, and then Steph goes, "Yes, my child." Um, so that's um. We do have yeah, um, Alaris. <laughs> Alaris, the one who worships Helios, is the dragon slayer. I'm very proud of that one. Um, I convinced her to worship Helios after she chose Dragon Slayer. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Dragon Slayer is destined to kill Helios. <laughs> um, I haven't decided what that's going to do for her cleric powers. I, I imagine she'll just like pick a new god and like she's still a good cleric. She just, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's going to be really fun. Um, but um, let's uh, let's let's prep. So. All right, Mossy Temple, Demetria. Let's learn about Demetria. Um, teenagers have been disappearing from towns. Yep, yep, yep. Lord of the Forest by Goatlings. Yep, yep, yep. Good cause to hate me, Tros and Astoria. Estor Arcalander chopped down her sister's oak tree to use as a mast for a ship. Demetria went mad with grief. She swore fealty to Lutheria. She loathes immortals. She captures young men and women to serve in Lutheria's dark rituals, telling them that they're being initiated. Into an ancient priesthood. In actuality, the women are transformed into monstrous maenads, while the men are slaughtered and devoured in ritual feasts. Yep. In the past year, Demetria has become more brazen. She's captured dozens of teenagers now, and recently she sent her goatlings to steal the horn of Balmithria. Adding an H there. Um, uh, can I introduce you to Helios, your namesake? Yeah. Um, I'm renaming the horn of Balmithria. Um, I, I've heard that a lot of players put together Balmetria and uh, Mitros, uh, so I have I have modified the pronunciation of Balmetria, so it's Balmi or yeah Balmetria. I that, that's actually good. Like I'm I'm actually like automatically saying Balmetria, um, so that's good. I, I I got that I got that crammed into my brain. Um, so Balmetria has been renamed Balmetria. Just so you know, we don't get the e sound. We have we have a we have a softer i sound. It's actually a y, um, and then um, we just remove the similar syllable, so it's a little harder to put together. Uh, and then similarly, I actually came up with, and by came up with, I mean I found somewhere on the internet, probably on the Discord, um, the Odyssey Discord. I mean, um, names for each of the other um, five gods in their dragon forms. So we got Sybil Corax. Respitrion, Archiriania, Tisaphale, and Aristonar. Am I changing the names in Telemach too? Yes, 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 yes. Um, so all of the all of the tombs in Telemach will have uh, the new dragon names. So wherever it would say Vulcan, now it's going to say Sybil Corax. Wherever it would say Pythor, now it's going to say Respitrion, so on and so forth. Um, just because I don't want the players to put that together immediately, because I don't understand. Like in the very beginning of the book. There is a sidebar. Where is it? I think it's actually before this. You gonna load? You gonna load? Here we go. Um, nope, not that one. Here it is. The people of Thylea do not know the true nature of the five gods. Only the gods know it, and they're forbidden to talk about it by the oath of peace. Story finale includes a major twist, but then in the Necropolis of Telemach, it's like, yeah, Estor is the, uh, he's the oath sworn of Kyra. But who now? The, like, the god? Is, was she his dragon? Huh? Like, so yeah, don't, don't do that. Stop that. Um, so yeah, I, I will be replacing those names. Um, I don't think I'm going to be shadows. I don't think I'm going to give them handouts. I don't even know if there are handouts. Um, they changed after the dragon lords fell. Exactly. Um, right. I, so I think that, I think the in-world rationale is that Kyra was always her name. She was always Kyra. Um, her dragon name was Kyra. And I guess Mitros is the only one who decided to change her name when they became gods. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I thought it was a weird oversight that the book didn't give them dragon names. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if there's a handout. Uh, actually, it might be in Great Labors. Here, I'm gonna get rid of all this. 
So we're going to go into Great Labors, Necropolis. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't seem to have a hand, unless it's not in here and it's just in handouts. NPC portraits, no. Item handouts, no. Monster art, no. Hero art. Yeah, no, so uh, letters? Letters? Nope. Mood. Chapter mood. No, so there, there doesn't seem to be a handout for the the uh, the crypts, so I don't need to worry about that. So I'll just tell, I'll read to them, you know, what each crypt says. No big deal. Um, so that's not a, that's not a worry. I don't have to edit the the handouts. Um, I don't think there are handouts, but there's a template in the map notes. Okay, um, that's fine. I don't I don't run things from Roll Twenty for the most part. Um, so what I did want to do was I want to make sure that yeah so now that I switched to the new uh, dynamic lighting what I need to do is jam them Oh, geez. since I'm not the DM so I'm going to put them all onto so first I'm gonna take a screenshot of their marching order just so that I can replicate it. Uh, and then I'm going to jam them all into the same space uh, and take them on a tour of everywhere they've seen to update their vision with the new dynamic lighting. Oops. We're going on an adventure. And then I can use I can use this other screen to keep track of what they apparently someone was up in this corner. That's interesting. Um, and they heard snoring from this from inside this room, but they never went in there, so that's easy. And then hopefully every one of them can see. Um, all of these things, um, just so I don't have to worry about that particular issue. Okay, looking good, just gotta go down to this corner now. And up here. Ta-da, okay. So now, put them back here, and then let's open that screenshot, because I do not know the marching order. I like taking the kids to the playground. I mean, I guess. Oh, I just moved the entire group, that's cool. Orsino, yes, I no, not what I wanted. Yes, I know. Helios, Scorpius, Laharis, and Remy. All right. Okay. So now they can they can see what they can see. Um, so if I if I grab Yasena. So if I do control, oh, no, okay. So you send it, can see everything. Um, so I guess I can do that for all of them. So you can see things, you can see things that you can't see right now. You can see things that you can't see right now. Wait, why can I see everything? Is it because I'm in the DM? That's weird. Um, Alaris, what can you see? Scorpius, all right, good enough. The door is open. Yeah, the door is open, but like, they can also see, like, currently I can see, like, this border out here, too. And, like, down here and outside of the caves. Whereas in here, that's just all solid black. Um, but I, I think that's just because I'm the DM. Um, I just, on the old 
On the old dynamic lighting, if I hit Control L, it would show me exactly what they can see. Um, whereas I guess this new one, it just bothers with showing me their light level. Uh, and then um, <clears throat> beyond that, just, uh, hey, you're the DM, you get to see everything. So we, we'll close this. So we, we switched to the new dynamic lighting. Uh, my, I think the coolest part of the new dynamic lighting is like this tapering uh, light level. Um, towards the end of it um, So like I can like as a DM I can click on this guy again guy, but like he can't even see him um, So like they can't really see that far. Is that accurate though? Um, he's got 60 feet of vision, so he should be able to see the other side of the room It's interesting uh, Oh, he doesn't have dark. Oh, he doesn't have dark vision, so he's relying on someone else's light. And I think it's Yusena's, which is no, nope, it is Orsino's light, which is twenty and twenty. So Orsino can see the back corner because he's got dark vision. Um, then everyone else is relying on Orsino's actual like light cantrip. Um, so what I will do at the start of next session, I'll make a note to the to do this. Um, establish who has what light sources on them. So I do need to figure that out because uh, like they're currently relying on the light cantrip, which is 20 and 20. Wait a minute, there's supposed to be lights in this room. Like this light exists. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> These lights aren't using... <sighs> These lights aren't using the new dynamic lighting. They're using the old dynamic lighting. So this gives off bright light and low light 20 and 20. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we're going to copy it and then we're going to go to dynamic lighting layer. Paste, 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 and then we can we can delete the old ones. Yeah, so the uh, the old light sources that I had created were using the old dynamic lighting. Um, so I just need to replace those. This one right here. Give me a pain to transition on some of the modules. Yeah. Um, What's useful is that this module doesn't have light sources at all, if you want to call that useful. Um, I think it's actually obnoxious, but you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so this module doesn't have any actual light sources built into it, despite having the dynamic lighting walls built into it. Um, so I'm just making all these light sources myself. Um, so. Um, but now they should be able to see to the back of the room. Yeah, so now they can see the back of the room because there's actually lights in there. Um, so that makes sense. I don't know why you can see through friggin' walls and shit. That's obnoxious. Stop that. I'm pretty sure he can see into this room now. Like, he has memory of seeing into that room. So I do need to just move them all ever so slightly to recalculate it. There we go. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right, now that I spent half an hour just fucking with the scene, let's actually prep. Um, so the big thing that I want to prep is Demetria, as the, the episode title suggests. So so I do know that she's uh, she's making man ads. I know how she's making man ads, but what I don't know is how, like, what she, what's she doing? Like, how does she react to them? Um, so... Let's read. Let's do some readings. Feast Hall. She is here with four adoring teenage girls that are preparing for the initiation feast. Demetrius Geigen, servant, is nine feet tall and he looms in the background. He has a single eye, six powerful arms, and a number of weapons and shields. He's also very clever, although he doesn't speak much. Sidon has charged him with both protecting and watching over Demetria. Um, there's a cool interaction with whoever touched the ashes. Yes. Remir touched the ashes. Um, I think he put them back once he realized what they were. Or, like, I, he opened it, uh, but he didn't do anything with it. He just opened it and left it there. Um, 
She invites him to sit down and join the feast. She's granting her best student a special prize, a short bow of cupidity, to playfully accuse the heroes of spoiling a special moment for her acolytes. Uh, and as long as they don't initiate combat, she is happy to talk. She knows that the heroes have been chosen by the oracle, but she dismisses their quest as an impossible one. She extols Sidon's strength and Lutheria's beauty. She speaks of the cruelty of the dragon lords, explaining that her sister lost her life to the wickedness of Estor Archelander. She asks the heroes whether they are truly fighting for the right side in the living conflict. She then invites them to share the meal with her and the girls. Um, so obviously this is um, the, uh, the flesh of the men that were paired with the girls. Uh, if the heroes are aware, they can convince the girls with a persuasion check. Automatic success if Corinna is with them. So they sent Corinna out. Um, so that uh, that's unfortunate for them. Um, but I think my players might know that, you know, if I call for a persuasion check, they'll, uh, hey, Gaijin Games is now following. Thanks for, uh, thanks for following, Gaijin Games. Um, I, I think if I call for a persuasion check, they're going to know, hey, this is important. Let me use inspiration on that. Um, Some read aloud text for if they turn to main ads. That's cool. She gently pets one of her new servants. Gross. Mm -mm. Revealing the true nature of the meal to the girls will infuriate them so that they attack Demetria, restraining her for three rounds. The Gigan will easily kill the girls unless the heroes intervene. Wow. Uh, flight before. Ah, yeah. Karina almost died in your game. <laughs> Um, my, uh, my Corinna absolutely fucking crushed everything. Um, she critted so many enemies and killed a lot of other enemies, and she's just been hilariously useful the entire time, um, which was really funny because we play Odyssey on Saturdays and then Curse of Strahd on Sundays. Corinna was a goddamn badass, and then Irina was worthless in our Curse of Strahd game. Uh, just back-to-back -back sessions, so that was just a, a funny joke. Um, and n neither my games don't share any players, but uh, all of, a lot of my Curse of Strahd players watch our Odyssey game, and a lot of our Odyssey players watch the Curse of Strahd game. Um, so they, they joke with one another. So um, that's interesting. Um, so Demetria is just she's nice. She's really nice to her. She's really nice about it. Um, she's just very uh, polite and hospitable to the players. Um, one thing that my players actually stated that they were worried about. Uh, is that um, they don't want to... Uh, where is it? Laws. Uh, they, don't, they don't want to accidentally in invoke guest friendship um, by partaking of a meal. Um, so they're, they're, they're going to be very careful not to eat or drink anything. Um, so I definitely want to play up. Like, the wine smells incredible. Um, and there are, there are spinach puffs that, that, that smell absolutely heavenly. Um, and then of course there's the meats, um, which are glazed and, uh, smell savory. Um, I gotta, I gotta brush up on my food descriptors. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do want to just like, while you're sitting there, like this food smells incredible. Um, the, the spinach puff. The spinach puff. Um, but yeah, I, I think it would be interesting. It would be cute if they uh, accidentally invoked guest friendship. Because um, then I could dispatch the Furies. Um, so. Um, so I, I think I think prepping Dimitri is kind of kind of done. Like this is. So I, I think the role play with Dimitri is probably going to be like 30 to 45 minutes. Um, I think they're going to spend a while talking to her because they want to get a lot of information out of her. Succulent, smoky meats, glisten with honeys and berries. Oh my god, i got to write that shit down. Um, that's, that's some good shit. Uh, you, you can tell Shadows works with food. <laughs> um... Um, yeah, so, so if combat breaks out here, um, that's, that's going to be, like, the big thing. Um, she will not, ooh, so here's, here's a, she has a lesser artifact for the gifted one. Does she? 
I missed that. The doomed one. She. Uh, oh, so. Um, so Demetria recognizes the doomed one. She reveals that the doomed one is destined to die by the workings of Lutheria. She says that only the fates can say more. This may also be revealed in the dream when the heroes drink from the horn of Balmithria, in case they kill Demetria without um, learning about it. Um, gifted one. Whispering locket. Uh, Versi had the locket for the gifted one. Um. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I don't have a haunted one. Yeah, okay. Yep, haunted one. Um, has, uh, Demetria has a haunted one's uh, lesser item, but I don't have a haunted one. I don't have a haunted one, and I don't have a lost one. Um, I have all the other ones. Um, so yeah, I, I, was, I was worried that I missed something, which is totally possible. No worries. Um, uh, yeah, so, so okay. <laughs> I, was, I was legitimately worried that I missed something because, like, th th I don't think this is, like, the best uh, layout, especially since it doesn't actually, like, usually there's a sidebar. Oh, no, never mind. Um, there is a sidebar. Um, so there's a sidebar here. Um, Dimitri has information pertinent to both the doomed one and the haunted one. Um, so I probably did see that, and I just said, okay, doomed one, let me read that, because um, I do have a doomed one. So, so yeah, like, those sidebars are stupid useful. Um, stupid useful. Um, what I do want is I want a name for the Gigan. Um, that Gigan needs a name. Um, so let's look up Cyclops name generator, because um, I, I like... Wow, these suck. Oh, these are bad. Let's do Greek names. Uh, famous giant names? Yeah, let's see, let's see about that. I mean, I could, I could do Polyphemus. But I, I think that might be a... Uh... Oh, my God. Uh, so I'm trying, I'm trying to avoid the animals because we do have a, a vegan PC. Um, but I'll... Uh... View word mounds of syrupy cuts of fruit delicately constructed into shapes reminding you. Yeah, I mean he's he's not an idiot. He'll know that you know remi you know they remind you of animals doesn't mean it's made of animals. It's just it's fruits. Um, keep in common shadows. If you got more of these, um, I would I would absolutely love to just pile these on to like just sort of like throw one at the players every once in a while while they're talking to Demetria just be like, yep, yeah, like these foods are these foods are great. Um, I, I would that would be fantastic. And I'm not fantastic at writing um, interactions at Sidon and Theria which they don't remind you about. Oh, that's obnoxious. Because um, I do know that um, in the in running the epic paths like the doomed one um uh, confronting Lutheria, um, she will con she'll be consumed by uncontrollable laughter as she fondly recalls all the pointless suffering she's inflicted upon the doomed one. So, um, I, I actually really enjoy this because my doomed one uh, is obsessive about uh, sacrificing things to Lutheria. Um, so that's uh, playing the villains. Let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, Shadows, that pun is terrible. Event confronting Sidon. Um, are they in here? There's events and stuff. Oh, uh, like this, this stuff is annoying. After the heroes leave the temple of the Oracle, she sends a nightmare. I forgot to do that. That's neat. Um, that sucks. I'll have to, as the players are leaving the mossy temple. Event. All right. Um, yeah. So I'll have to. I'll have to try and. I'll just. Uh, Yeah, I don't think this is, like, your great quest begins. I don't think that that's, um, 
like they might actually understand that as oh like we did a thing and now she's like taunting us that i think that still works like the timing is slightly off but i think it works um but i'm glad you pointed that out because i thought i thought these all started like way um way way more um oh also after the finish heroes finish their first labor um on their way back to Astoria event, the Centaur Warband, page 21. Um, yeah, so, shit. So yeah, like, th these events are kind of a big fucking deal to, uh, yeah, I, woof. Ultros after one or two islands in the Gulf. After they defeated or made a pact with Lutheria. Okay, I don't have to worry about those. Um, after the heroes confront, complete their second labor. Okay, so that's that's a thing that I need to be aware of. Um, sailing across the Cerulean Gulf. Okay, so like these... And then after they... Once they've completed all of the great labors, King of Cassis... So this is really confusing. So there's events summoned by the king. Um, and it says once they've completed the great labors, King of Cassis summons them to Mitros. But then if you look at... Um, Chapter 3, Summoned by the King. Uh, it says, when should I start this chapter? Uh, run this part of the adventure after the heroes have completed two or three of their great labors. Shadows, you are... Uh, you're fucking killing it over here. Um, geez. Deep, fruity, full-bodied wine. Ooh, what the hell did I do? Adorns crystal-faceted... I like chalices, releasing a heady aroma. Oh my god. You got away with words, man. Fucking digging it. Um, god damn. Yeah, I, I'm loving it. Yeah. Loving it. Um, but yeah, so, so you know, it says, you know, King of, King of Casta should summon you after two or three. Um, but then, you know, in, in running the villains or playing the villains wherever. Shit, where was it? Uh, where the hell did it go? The villains? Oh, I know it's page 21. So I'll go there. <laughs> um, yeah, no, you seriously have a gift with words. Um, specifically about food. <laughs> um, Voyage of the Ultros. Um, got it. Oh, me. Okay. So, all right. So, yeah. <sighs> Woof. All right. Um, so I do need to run both of these events uh, as they're leaving the Mossy Temple. Mm -hmm. uh, it probably will tempt Steph, the wine specifically, because her character is a drunk. Um, he says as he drinks alcohol. So, um, I, I kind of feel bad for having a really short stream, but I think I'm basically prepped for today. Um, oh, I did want to name the Gigan. Yeah, ta-da, guest rights. Um, Gigan name, yeah. Um, eh, 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 I suck. Gigan names. No, that, that didn't help me. Cyclops names. Huh. I hate it. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> um, what is Tempe? Indonesian soy product made from fermented soybeans. Cool. Um, Argos Stromthal. Isaac, I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> um, I really like Polyphemus, but I don't think I should, like, throw that out. Um, Gigan name. Yeah. yeah, Andy, it's like, what, 10 o'clock when you start uh, Curse of Strahd? So yeah, you need, you need some mimosas. That's like the only breakfast, uh, I, I can't stand Bloody Marys, so they just don't exist for me. Um, I do like, I do like Argos, 
Uh, I don't know about Strom Thaw. I'm just going to go Argos. I like Argos. Um, it doesn't need to be fantastic. He's just Argos. No big deal. Um, I'm actually going to put that right on his token. Um, Argos. Uh, and the other thing is I want to get rid of the health bars for players. Um, I don't want players seeing my health bars because that's just dumb. All kinds of dumb. Why did it just go down? What the fuck? What just happened? Ooh. He's emitting light. What the fuck? I'm so confused. I don't know what happened here. Oh Jesus, lots of rusty crested signs of succulent minted lamb. Um, I don't know about the lamb because the only meat on the table I think is people. Unattach the HP category. Well, I don't actually have main ads in this room, um, but uh, I don't know what that means. Unattach the category. Like I can, I can get rid of the character sheet. Yeah, it's capitalism. It's people. It's people. They're eating people. Take down. Yeah, I, I do know about that because that happened to me last session when they were fighting main ads. Um, I just don't know how to do that because, like, I have a main ad down here. It happened with the goatlings, I think. Um, like I, I don't, I don't hate the represents character because then I can. What is it? Double click. Wait, how do I actually get to the character sheet? Can I even get to the character sheet from? How do I get to the character sheet? I don't know why I just... No, don't do that. <sighs> Not from the token, so I have to go into here. Okay. That's dumb, and I hate it. Um, appendices, monsters, servants of death, main ad. Um, I should probably start doing this because um, it's kind of a pain in the dick to have the... Because... Uh, I have the the PDF open as I'm DMing, um, but like just being able to do this might be a good idea. Yeah, like here's your character sheet. Here's here's the here's the monster. Instead of having to flip through shift double click. Andy over here with the frigging shortcuts. God damn. Drop down next to the bar, one, two, three, option. Does one say HP? Let me see. Drop down next to the bar. Am I a big dum-dum? Is this a uh, bar located? No. On the first tab. Bar one. Ah. It says none. Okay, so that means it shouldn't change HP then. Okay, and then, okay. All right, so this drop down, that's what does it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Sync to the values of that attribute. Got it, okay. 
Cool. Got it. Stealing it. Stealing it again. Stealing it again. Nah, I'll put that one last. Just remind them. Remind them again. <laughs> hey, there's uh, there's meat here. It smells real good. Um, I, the one thing that I did want to do is I wanted to get Demetria art. So I'm going to see if I can find Demetria art that I don't hate. And then Evil Demetria. Uh, yeah, I like those two. Um, so once again, I'm going to show off uh, how I make... Oh, you know what? I actually have... I just have a buttload of uh, tokens already, so I might... I might have token for Demetria already. Let's see. Yep, someone already made a token for evil Demetria. So I'm just gonna use that because that's easy. So I'm not gonna make a token. I'm just gonna upload this guy. Whip. I downloaded all these from the Odyssey Discord. I don't know how many, if any, I'm gonna use. What you got here? Oh, that's cool. I like that way better. I'm going with that. Yeah. Yeah. Screw that one. I just, I literally just uploaded. Screw that. Delete. Alright, so, uh, Demetria Evil. So we're going to open with Gagimp. And Demetria Good, we're going to open with Gagimp. Thought it fitting because of the Tides Luth area. Yeah, no, I, I like it a lot. Um, so I just need the Odyssey character art. No, tokens. I think I did this on a different computer. That's annoying. Um, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna grab this token border, um, and then we're gonna slap this in here. All right, so we're gonna image the canvas to layers. Um, so we're gonna have to scale this layer up a little bit. We're gonna do width 700, because that's usually about how big it needs to be. Loving it. Um, image fit canvas to layers again. And then we'll just delete everything that's outside of the border. Weep. Delete. Oh, of course. Select inverse, paste, new layer, delete layer. She switches in front of that. You can make flip a flippable token. That's cool. I didn't know that existed. You're going to have to show me how that works. Um, so the one thing I wanted to do was, one of the things that I did was I changed the hue and saturation of this border. I wanted to make it like yellowy. I don't want to change the brightness. I want the brightness to be zero. Um, and then... She big. So we're gonna put her behind the border. Um, we're gonna scale her down a little bit. We're gonna make her 900. And then once again, we'll just delete everything outside of the border. And she's actually a ping already. 
Um, she is actually larger than that, so I'm going to delete everything down here too. Uh, layer to image size. Got it. Make sure I delete all that. All right. Layer to image size. All right. So we've got export as Demetria Good dot ping. Uh, and we will replace. And then we'll hide this one. Export as Demetria Evil dot ping. Um, we'll save it. Why not? Odyssey tokens save. Macros, rollable tables, add one with each image as an element of the table. Got it. I actually have experience with rollable tables. Because uh, I have the Kyra rollable table, which my players think only has scribbling furiously because it has a weight of 300. Um, anyway, so add Demetria. Add item. Drop a file. Odyssey. Tokens. We're going to do Demetria good. We're going to call this one Demetria because I don't know what's going to be visible to my players. Shit, I didn't let it upload. I have to wait for it to upload. Kyra always sings the song of heroism and it's OP. Did I just, wait, what? I thought three... Uh, it was roll a d4 on four, she does stuff. You stinking cloud your players twice for the last game. Um, oh, right. I forgot. Um, Linux is stupid, and I literally have to drop a file here. Uh, choosing a file in the uh, the table does not work. Cool. All right, so we got a Demetria good. Uh, we're going to add item uh, Demetria... Two. Yeah, she rolls a d4 and has a chance for mischief. So that's essentially what I did was I, I made it. Um, it's it's the wand of uh, it's the wand of wonder. So I added every wand of wonder with its normal uh, weight uh, on that table, uh, and then oh, if she doesn't mischief, then you give her a normal turn. Got it. I give her scribbling furiously. Um, she's just writing down uh, what the players are doing. Um, so Demetria two. We're gonna do. Grab this Demetria Evil file, drop that. Wait for that to upload. Yeah, I just have her do nothing on her turn. Um, what can she do on her turn? Because so the 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 way the way I was um, the way I was reading Kyra, I was under the impression that she literally is incapable of helping them um, because of the Oath of Peace. So I just had her not do literally anything. Um, Song of Heroism. Whoa! Until the end of her next turn, all eyes are here. Someone can reroll one dice roll of their choice. That's cool as hell. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. She's Kyra's unable to risk his theater just to cause mischief. And every round of battle, there's a one in four chance. Um, yeah, I could. Uh, I could see that. She's just she's just doing music. Yeah. Um, Do not die or go unconscious. I can make a constitution saving throw. Ram. And she performs a song while taking a short or long rest. Cured of all disease, all poison, all the following conditions. Holy shit, Song of Reju is insane. Um, okay, Andy, I got the I got the rollable table. Now what? Now what? And health. Can I just... Oh, is it maybe the token button? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's cool, now... Demetria. Now how do I flip her?
right click to flip it. Holy shit. That's awesome. That's super fucking neato. Where's my... Jesus. That's super cool. Where is my, like, image quality, though? Like, why is this so low quality? I mean, yeah, there's there's high quality. So that's cool. Um, I want to do that for these girls now. Um, like, I want to, I want main ad art on one side. Uh... I don't know how to get the main ad. Do I have just a main ad token? Probably not. No. Let's see if there's a uh, miniatures and tokens. Main ad. Crap. 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 Okay. Button art. I can save the image from the compendium. Is that actually a thing I can do? How do I do that? I like that. Oh wait, that's just the art. I want like this actual token image. Yeah, like I want this image. How do I get that? This probably isn't gonna work. Maybe. Uh -huh. There we go. Yay! Found the image. <coughs> cool. Main ad. Oh, ping. Cool beans. Um, so you got main ad. Right click the token to see if it's already done. That'd be smart. It is not. Unfortunately, girl. Um, so I need just like generic, like woman art. Um, I'm just gonna use this one, Anora. So this is supposed to be Anora. Um, not super worried about it. And then we're gonna add main ad. And I, I know that the uh, the borders aren't the same, and I am unconcerned. Because I think my player's gonna be like, whoa, we just changed. No, they're not gonna care. They're not gonna care that I changed the token. Um, save, make a token. Uh, and now what I can do is I can make this represent main ad. 14 represents AC. Save changes. Delete these four. And then when I'm ready, I can just multi-sided, choose side, bam, main ad. So that's cool. Ancient dragon tokens have 10 sides because of polymorph. That's interesting. So something weird keeps happening. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but like there's a border like right here. And I think it's from the player's dynamic light. Maybe? Wait, why can't they see these torches anymore? Jesus. This new dynamic light seems really buggy. It kind of seems like it's like, like you have to set it up last. I, and I don't know what this border is for. I'm trying to find the center of it. Looks like it's Scorpius. I don't know. Really confusing. But like as long as they can only see what they're supposed to be able to see, that's fine. This is why I like Fog of War. Is one of the players still DM? 
So all of these, all of these tokens is, all of the tokens are controlled by stream, which is my like other account. It's the one I stream from, but that's just a player. None of them, none of them are are controlled by the DM because the DM can control every uh, token. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what this circle is. I don't know what the circle. I'm very, yeah, that's really confusing. Um, but yeah, now I got multi-sided tokens. That's cool as hell. Just sad. That's neat. I like it. Um, which means that I can do I can do a coin flip. Random side. Yeah. <laughs> I can do a coin flip. Check the directional view and make sure it's not on. I don't know what that means. Oh, no, I do know what that means. I don't think that would be on. I didn't touch it. Limited field of vision. Yeah. I don't have that. I, I don't know. I'm just going to say screw it. Um, so, yeah. I uh, Kyra's not actually with them right now, so um, I don't have to worry about her right now. Demetria is going to be very friendly. She's going to tell the doomed one that... Uh, he uh, he makes her laugh because he is doomed. Um, I'm just pushing in their chairs. <laughs> that shift right or that that shift double click to pull up character sheet. Stupid useful. Just being able to pull this up really quickly. That makes roll twenty significantly less god awful. Um, so I think I'm just about done prepping, though. Um, I, I already prepared um, the city of Astoria and the king's daughter scenario. I prepared the necropolis at Telemach. Um, I have not yet prepared the Mithril Forge. Um, I actually don't know what the hook to the forge is. Like the players don't know where it is. Um, let me, so, so yeah, let me just figure out like how they even get there. Um, here we go. Uh, Vulcan recognizes the heroes as the Oracle's chosen. Rambles at great lengths about the Mithril Mines. Um, speaks of the weapons. He vows to join them once they rekindle the fires. Got it. Um, the dwarf and the dragon tooth. Um, Cairo suggests talking to the dwarves who used to work the mithril mines. Got it. Okay. Hey, here we go. Dwarves of Astoria. Several dwarves who visit the dragon tooth every night. They work the local copper mine. They were forced to flee the mithril mines centuries ago. Some of them are old enough to have been alive when the event took place. They have no interest in returning. Because uh, they know the entire place was cursed by Lutheria. However, some of them are still seeking closure. They like to bury the kin they lost. And are willing to take, pay ten gold for each dwarven skull returned to them. And then I'm guessing that they can tell you at the very least where the, the frickin' mines are. Um, so, I don't... I don't think my players are going to go to the Mithril Forge. I don't think they're going to try to do that. If they do, well, fuck. Um, I'll, you know... I, I, I ad-libbed them going to the Mossy Temple um, two sessions ago. I can ad-lib them going to the Mithril Forge. Um, mostly, I just don't want to prep too much and then not have anything to prep at some, you know, at some uh, prep stream down the line. Um, thank you once again to uh, Shadows for all these uh, food descriptions. Thank you, Andy, for your flippable, flippable tokens. Thank you, Santa Bomb, for being super knowledgeable about the events. Um, I, I don't know how you found our stream, but um, welcome. Thanks for being here. Um, and um, if you guys enjoyed seeing me prep, then I hope you'll enjoy seeing me DM this tomorrow, uh, 4 p.m. EST, uh, right here on the Gilded Troll. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys then. Oh, you found the Reddit. Oh, cool. That's, uh, that's good to know. Um, so uh, thanks, everyone, for being here. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.